Hey guys, hope you're well. Welcome back to my channel and hello if you are new here. You guessed it by the title. Today it's time for a Joy Malone advent calendar unboxing. This is the most expensive advent calendar I have unboxed this year so far and I'm very, very excited to show you it. It retails at £360 and it's on my lap as we speak. Here she is and she's chic just like the Joe Malone brand is as you can see and I cannot wait to get into this. It says add PR on screen, this is a press sample so I can give this a review but as always honest opinion and I cannot wait to have a look. I haven't watched any videos in this, I literally have no context apart from knowing that it costs £360 so this is a surprise for me as well. As always I'm going to go from start to finish number one all the way to 25 and we're going to talk about it. I've personally been buying Jo Malone products since probably 2010. I am a bit of a super fan. I've probably tried every single product almost at this point. My house is full of Jo Malone. If anyone knows me, you know I'm obsessed with Jo Malone. So this is a really exciting one for me because I don't think I've ever actually had their advent calendar before. Maybe like years and years ago, but this year I am on boxing it and see if it's worth the money so let's get into it and if you haven't already if you could hit the subscribe button that would really really help my channel and come say hi on instagram mshellx i would love to have you as part of the family let's go she is absolutely gorgeous she's giving chic christmas she's giving like candy canes but chic joe malone now she's got like cute bows which are very on theme but very demure very mindful very joe malone just very chic we've got deck the holes okay so i'm gonna go in with number one and just start from the top so each little product is individually wrapped in some black paper and first we have blackberry and bay cologne let's see what comes with it and then you get a little oh this must just be the booklet that comes with the advent calendar it's so cute spoiler alert it tells you everything that's behind everything and it says enjoy the festive season with a daily delight behind each door once empty this advent calendar can be reused to store jewelry buttons and trimmings or stationery and i must say because this is a neutral advent calendar on the outside this would look way nicer on my desk or like in my house than for example the charlotte tilbury one would at least this is nice and neutral so that is also a good little hack and then in here it just tells me what's behind each one. Blackberry and Bay Cologne is inspired by childhood memories of blackberry picking. A burst of tart blackberry with the freshness of just gathered bay and brambly woods. I personally like blackberry and bay. It is really nice. Layered with wood, sage and sea salt actually is very, very good. But it's not my favourite scent. But cute and it's nice to have minis for your handbag. Next up, inside number two we have... Ooh, I think this might be a candle on the bush. It smells so good. We have peony and blush suede. This is like such a traditional wedding candle. I feel like a lot of people have this as their wedding candle. And it says, light this candle to create a flirtatious atmosphere with our luxurious floral fragrance and the shimmering glow of candlelight. Oh my gosh, it smells so good. It just smells like peony. Inside number three, we have another fragrance. And this time it's fur and artemisia cologne now i'm not sure if i'm saying that correct but this is actually the new joy malone christmas scent i'm almost certain i actually smelled it earlier and i was like oh my goodness it kind of has that like fur pine tree after scent and it's so nice the little booklet says our scent of the season the woodiness of fur and the aromatic artemisia is contrasted with supple leather to bring comfort and joy in a festive fragrance i wouldn't usually like a leather smelling fragrance but to me this just smells kind of like festive pine trees with like a little bit of something else or fir trees. It definitely smells like a Christmas tree, but like sexier. I love that Joy Malone products are completely unisex, so you can share with your partner, your boyfriend, your girlfriend, your mum. I love that. And you can create so many different combinations by just layering things, which I also love. Okay, inside number four. Oh my gosh, it's a big one. We have... Ooh, the Poppy and Barley Body and Hand Lotion. I love that it's a body and hand lotion, double multifunctional. This says, elevate your daily ritual with a colorful light floral scent. This silky body and hand lotion easily absorbs into skin, soft and, and hydrate. So I actually have a lot of the jars of Jo Malone body butters and they are very nice. They are very kind of like their body creams at least. 
feel very opulent, really nice to use in winter. Say I'm such a body cream girl because I am so into my body products. I don't talk about Joy Malone body products. They stand out to me more for fragrances, so maybe I need to get back on that hype. Inside number five, we have the Velvet Rose and Oud Cologne Intense. I absolutely love the Cologne Intense from Joy Malone. They are so gorgeous and last so long. This magnetic, decadent scent celebrates the eternal beauty and versatility of the revered flower. The iconic floral sea of damask rose is wrapped in the smoky depths of oud, sparked with clove and a delicious taste of praline. I absolutely love that scent. Next up, inside number six, we have English Pear and Freesia Cologne. I believe that this is actually their best seller outside of Europe. I'm pretty certain that people are obsessed with English Pear and Freesia. I think it's nice. It's very fresh and spring-like, but it's not my favorite scent. Transport your senses to orchards, steeped in golden sunshine with this luscious scent. The sensuous freshness of just ripe pears is wrapped in elegant white freesias, enhanced with rose and rooted in patchouli. I understand why people like it because they just feel like it is so fresh. That's the best way to describe it, but it doesn't smell like a cleaning product. It just smells like a new awakening and spring. Inside number seven, and it's a big one, we have the English Pear and Freesia Body and hand wash. I absolutely love Jo Malone hand washes. I obviously have them in my bathroom. And this says, freshen up with this travel size body and hand wash, perfectly proportioned for suitcases and bags to spoil the senses. We are on to number eight. Inside number eight, we have another fragrance, wood, sage, and sea salt cologne. I love this smell. This is like an OG Jo Malone scent, and it's just so fresh. What I would say, if you're someone that isn't into fragrance, this is not going to be the advent calendar for you. If you are into fragrance, you're going to love this. If you are someone that wants to try so many different Jo Malone products, then this is for you, because you can actually use these, and these actually go quite a long way. They are nine mil, but I promise they do actually go a long way. I always have them like in my gym bag. I actually wish I had more of them, or in my handbag. They're just so cute, and they actually look really chic as well. You can actually wear the scent and see if it suits your body, and see how you get on with it, and see how long it's lasting throughout the day, and often, it's not me that can smell myself, but it will be like a taxi driver or someone who says, oh, you smell really nice, and I'm like, oh, other people can smell me, so, it's a really good test to see which fragrance works for you. Maybe one's for date night, maybe one's for the daytime. Maybe, for example, you've never tried wood sage and sea salt. You don't wanna buy a full bottle and you've always wanted to try it. And about this one, it says, breathe in the bracing air of the British coast. This sea salt fresh scent evokes windswept walks and the mineral scent of rugged cliffs. Yeah, it has that like mineral scent, which smells, which sounds disgusting, but it's so refreshing. Reminds me of like the Yorkshire coastline. Also, it's really cute that they have this book because Sometimes when you're smelling something, it's a fun game to like smell it without knowing the name and guess the scents. But it's actually then nice to read and be like, oh, now I can smell that scent coming through or that note. Okay, number nine. Inside number nine, we have, oh, I feel like this might be a lip balm or maybe a soap. <gasps> Blackberry and Bay soap. This is exciting. Oh my goodness, I have never, I do not want to break this. How do I open this? I have never in my life seen a Jo Malone soap that's shaped like this. I've seen Jo Malone soaps that have like the bold, oh my gosh, it's a little, it's a little cat. It really looks like um, the Aristocat. <gasps> Why is that so cute? Oh my gosh, and that smells amazing. I have no context at all as to why on earth the Jo Malone so it's shaped like that but that is so cute i also love that they put a soap in there that's such a nice little touch could use that as your christmas scent i would actually say now i just smell blackberry and bay blackberry and bay definitely gives quite a festive scent i've never thought that about blackberries before and i actually picked some recently in the cotswolds with my friend josie so that was really fun okay let's see what it says about that it says it's all about the little details add a fun fragrant finish to the guest room with this kitten shaped soap very cute Okay, we are on to number 10. Inside number 10, we have English pear and sweet pea cologne. Slightly different. Luscious fruits are enveloped in softly scented pastel sweet peas nestled on a base of powdery white musk. Oh, I love musk. Okay, let's go for number 11. Okay, inside number 11, actually one of my current favorite scents from Joy Malone, but like my dream husband smells like this. My dream husband, fiance, boyfriend, whatever. This is what I want him to smell like. Cypress and grapevine. It is so divine. 
it just smells like the best way I can describe it is a really hot man. It's the Colonial Thames. Obviously, women can use this as well. Anyone can. They're all unisex. They also have this in a candle version and a diffuser. They would be so nice in like a really sexy masculine office. Like, I think this is going to be a scent of winter because, or like autumn, it's just so hot. I could marry a fragrance, that would be it. The perfect finishing touch to any outfit. Refine your pre-party ritual with a touch of fragrance inside your jacket or scarf, in addition to your wrists and neck. Weird that that one doesn't tell you what it smells like, but that's kind of giving you a tip, like to go on a date with it. Okay, let's go. Inside number 12, we have another cologne intense, Mirren Tonga. Again, for me, this one's a little bit more masculine. Not my favorite, but I know so many guys who are obsessed with this. This one is a captivating cologne intense, conjuring the Namib's golden sand dunes and distinctive myrrh trees. The scent of the tree resin traveling on the desert air, mingling with the warm almond and lush vanilla notes of the Tonka bean. You learn something new every day. Inside number 13 is another big one. Oh, we have the Wood Sage and Sea Salt Body Cream. So the body creams are very opulent. They feel richer, I would say, than the body lotion, but the body lotion is great for travel. This is such a cute mini. I love how it comes in the jar. Everything Joe Malone is just so luxury. I've actually had dinner with the actual Jo Malone. She now owns a brand called Jo Loves, and they actually have the most insane new fragrance that I just sprayed earlier. And I think that's a Tonka Bean one as well. Very, very, very nice. So, so, so sexy. I just love like a deep, sexy fragrance. But anyway, she is an amazing woman, and I'm so grateful to her for launching this brand. And when I had dinner with her, I had so many questions. I was like, oh my God, I love the branding that you did. And I just think, wow, how cool to like, be Jo Malone. So for the Wood Sage and Sea Salt body cream, it says indulge your senses with this luxuriously rich body cream. Smooth onto leaf skin scented with a fresh woody fragrance and provide skin with moisturization. And the cool thing that you might not know unless you've been to a Jo Malone store and done like the fragrance sampling, which by the way is free, you can go in, you're gonna have like the hand massages and they pop the body moisturizer on for you and then they layer it with the scent. Certain things layer really nicely. Everything goes together but it depends which scent you like so people layer the fragrances and the moisturizers for the wedding to create like a wedding morning scent and i just think that's really special for my wedding i would love to give everyone like minis of the scent that i choose for my wedding from joe malone obviously um and give them the minis so that then every time they smell it it reminds them and takes them back to my wedding because i think scent really does evoke memories like there's a burberry fragrance that i actually can't smell anymore like it makes me feel physically sick even though it's gorgeous because it reminds me of some really horrible times when I was at university so fragrance will definitely take you right back to that moment inside number 14 we have wild bluebell cologne spread festive cheer and share the wonders of wild bluebell with a friend this delicate cologne captures luminous and sapphire flowers blooming in a shaded secluded woodland I actually really like this one Again, a really nice fresh scent. Inside number 15, and this is another big one, we have the Cypress and Grapevine Body and Hand Wash. Oh my gosh, I need to get a giant one of these for my house because like I say, this is my favorite sexy scent. And for me, I think I want my whole house to smell like this in autumn. And I did not know that they did this in a body and hand wash. I need this, yes. And this one is 50 ml. It says, elevate your daily ritual with aromatic scent with naturally derived Glycerin and Samphire, this indulgent body and hand wash gently cleanses and purifies skin. There's the science, baby. Okay, next up, inside number 16, we have Lime, Basil and Mandarin Cologne. Enliven the celebrations with our modern citrus classic. Peppery basil and aromatic white thyme bring an unexpected twist to the scent of limes. This is really nice and it does not smell like cleaning product. I think the basil balances it out. It's such a gorgeous fragrance and it's definitely one of their best sellers. Like if you speak to anyone about Joy Malone, they're like Woodsage and Sea Salt, Pomegranate Noir or Lime, Basil and Mandarin. They're like the things that people are obsessed with my best friend at uni was obsessed with pomegranate noir she like collected it and every single christmas every single birthday she would get pomegranate noir and that was just her scent and i love that people have these huge joe malone collections i actually have a huge one if you guys would like to see my joe malone collection you let me know because i can do a whole video i do actually get quite a lot of messages from people on instagram asking which joe malone fragrances i recommend so if you want one, I can give you recommendations. I'm still waiting for my favorites, by the way, in here, which is why I haven't mentioned them yet. Maybe my favorites aren't gonna be in here. Number 17, we have the Myrrh and Tonka Miniature Candle. Enchant by candlelight, add the finishing touch to your dining table with a fragrant flicker of sensuous scent. 
I really, really do like this scent. Okay, I feel like my favourite scents are not going to be in here. Number 18, we have got... Look, I like them all, but I have favourites. We're allowed favourites, right? The Oud and Bergamot Cologne Intense, a hypnotic scent evoking a time-honoured tradition centred around an enveloping haze and oud. This mysterious and precious wood is matched with the richness of black musk radiating with crisp bergamot. I really like this one. I like anything with oud and I like anything intense because they are just so sensual. I love a sensual fragrance. I really don't think it's going to be in here so I'm just going to tell you but Tuba Rose Angelica is like one of my favourite scents from Jo Malone. It is the ultimate date night scent. No one talks about it and it's so gorgeous. It's kind of quite oudy, so sexy. Like I just want to wear it on date night. I feel like People would just fall in love with you if you wore it. And I feel like the Cypress one is the men's equivalent. Okay, number 19, we have a classic. Because I feel like they have to put a lot of classics in here. Because people love the Joy Malone classic. Which is weird why we've not seen any pomegranate in a while yet. This is a lime basil and mandarin hand cream. And this is a 30ml. And I think hand creams are great for like travel, popping in your bag. And actually, honestly, sometimes I do Barry's boot camp. And they don't have body moisturiser in there, in the bathrooms. I don't know why. I always think I wish I had a hand cream with me just so I could like pop it on my knees or something like after a shower. It feels weird getting out of the shower and not moisturising. So I guess I could pop that in and have a very bougie shower after class. Inside number 20, we have got the Orange Bitters Travel Candle. Orange Bitters came around a few Christmases ago and when I say it's a staple in my household during the festive season, the men in my life are obsessed with it. It's like the ultimate Christmas scent. I mean, they wear it all year round. Like, Christmas, autumn, it's so sexy. It's like kind of like tangerine orangey, but like not sickly, not citrusy. It's like grown up. Oh, it's like spiced. Oh my gosh, it's perfection. Get into the festive spirit with a seasonal scent inspired by a winter's drink. This delectable candle is ideal for creating a sensual atmosphere with a zesty citrus twist. I don't usually like the scent of citrus and to me that just does not smell too citrusy it's like perfectly like crisp like I could imagine sitting by a fire and just oh my gosh that's the kind of like cozy citrus orange like on a gorgeous Christmas table by the way if you don't like me talking about advent calendars so soon I'm sorry a lot of them are already selling out so they launched them very very early so I'm sorry number 21 we have the Red Hibiscus Cologne Intense. And this is actually, I believe, apart from the Christmas fragrance, this is John Malone's most recent launch. So this is a big deal. Like you're gonna get the latest launch in here so you can try it and see how you feel about it. Venture into the heart of Hawaii's tropical forest with this solar and exotic scent. The striking Red Hibiscus is complemented by a touch of Jasmine Sandback and the sensuality of vanilla. I love anything with Jasmine and vanilla. Actually, the Jasmine fragrance that Joe Malone do is so nice. Yes, confirming the one that I really like is Jasmine Sandback and Marigold and it's a cologne intense. It's very, very sexy. It's warm. But it's also sweet and it's like a very rich, addictive scent. This one actually has some very similar notes to it. That is gorgeous. But this actually like also has like sweetness in it as well. It's difficult because every single fragrance is so good. I would honestly suggest getting this so you can just try them all. And be like, wow. There's another one that's really underrated as well that no one talks about. It's called Earl Grey and Cucumber. Again, sounds disgusting, but it's so great. Okay, we're on to number 22. And I wish I was opening this on my actual birthday because that would be a very cool birthday present indeed. We have got the Peony and Blush Suede Body Cream. I'm surprised they haven't had orange blossom in here yet because that was, I believe, um, Kate Middleton's wedding scent. My mum is obsessed with that. She actually wants that as her wedding scent as well. Of course she does. I didn't even tell her about Kate Middleton. We went to the Joe Malone store to like trial them and she was like, yeah, that's the one I want. I actually have a candle up at the top of my house, um, which is orange blossom, smells so good. But it's been smashed, not by me. Don't know why this always happens when people come to my house. My giant dip tea candle was smashed and now my Joe Malone has been smashed, which Breaks my heart slightly, but I'm just gonna have to like peel the glass off and still light it on like a dish. Anyway, I digress. I'm very surprised to have not seen that in here. But you've got the matching peony and blush suede body cream to go with your fragrance. It's the most wonderful time of the year, so treat yourself to a little indulgence with this luxuriously rich body cream in an opulent scent. Okay, we are now on to number 23. And inside number 23, we have what did I say? The Pomegranate Noir Miniature Candle. Take the time amid all the festivities to enjoy a moment to yourself and unwind with this enigmatic woody fragrance. 
for me this is just oh my gosh i forget how good this is because it's such a classic i just forget like i never wear it i never buy it and now i smell it i'm like to me that is joe malone wow i know why that's so famous that is so beautiful and then inside number 24 we have the wood sage and sea salt travel candle the season calls for candles so keep yours in tip-top condition by allowing the wax to melt and pull to the edges the first time you light it love that they have a little tip in there love that we've got the little wood sage and sea salt what is the size of this one 65 grams i feel like that one's a little bigger than which is nice and they do burn for quite a while and i actually quite like the miniatures in my first house in london i used to put all of my miniatures around my fireplace and light them and they looked so cute and I feel like we need to stop burning our candles. I went through this phase of like never burning them because I was like, oh my God, they're too special. But like, I'm sorry, you can't take them with you. Life is short, like burn them, enjoy them. Every time I have a bath, I light my candle. And actually I did have pomegranate noir at my birthday. At my 30th birthday, the table had a giant pomegranate noir, which is actually in my kitchen right now. Um, it's actually almost gone. It's a giant one and I have been burning it all the time. I'm actually gonna light it tonight when I make dinner because why not? I was saying to someone the other day, oh, in summer I don't like candles. And they were like, why? You should. Like for me, it's an autumn winter thing. And now I'm like, I'm just gonna go light my candles and enjoy it because it makes the house smell so nice. And I need to stop saving it just for like when someone's in my house visiting, for example. Okay, I digress. We're now on to number 25. And can I just say, I can't believe that some of my favorites haven't been in here. Tuba Rose hasn't been in here. Earl Grey and Cucumber hasn't been in here. And Jasmine hasn't been in here. However, my favorites are not classics. My favorites are like quite rogue. Um, I'm glad that Roses wasn't in there because I know it's like a Valentine's one, but it's just not my favorite. I don't hate it. It doesn't smell like grandma roses. It's not my favorite. And I'm glad the Orange Bits is in there. What else am I excited about that's been in here? I'm really excited about the Cypress because love that would have been so cute to see, to see a diffuser in here anyway number 25 it's a big one. Ooh, okay we get a bigger fragrance okay that's really nice and it's the orange bitters cologne so i don't think they had a mini orange bitters did they no i think they had the candle because i was gonna say that would be weird we don't need two of them but this is great because they give you a larger one so this will last you a long time also i love the gold how beautiful Let's celebrate, kickstart a wonderful day of festivities, enjoy this extra special gift of a seasonal favorite combining two dashes of citrus brightness with juicy sweet orange and a burst of fresh mandarin. So if you don't like this scent, sorry, you're not gonna like this. But if you were gonna buy this scent anyway and you like all of these other bits, then actually 360 pounds isn't too bad. A 30 mil Joe Malone is 55 pounds. So for context, this is worth 55 pounds. I don't actually know how much the entire box is worth. I cannot find that information anywhere but i guess they don't really sell their minis you can get them in like little travel sets for christmas and stuff speaking of which i can't wait to see the christmas collection i bet it's going to be amazing judging by their paddington bear collection the marmalade scent oh my gosh that was like i actually cried when i saw that collection that is my favorite launch that joe malone have ever done because i love paddington bear anyway basically i actually think this is really great if you like joe malone yes a lot of my favorites weren't in here but talking to you to people who maybe are like more universal joe malone lovers and aren't into kind of like the quirky ones like I am. This is great. You get the new scent to try. You get the Christmas classic, like the favorite. You get so many OGs and classics in here. We've got body, we've got everything really from like hand cream to body wash, to fragrance, to intense. I love that there were quite a lot of intense in there. All that's missing is a diffuser. I would have loved to have seen a big candle in there. If I'm gonna be honest, that would have made this up there with one of the best advent calendars. Give me a large Joe Malone candle and I'm yours. Give me anything Joe Malone and I'm yours. So I really hope you enjoyed this review. I hope you found it useful. Thank you as always for watching. Like I said, you could come say hi on Instagram, mchlx, and hit the subscribe button now. That would really, really help me. I appreciate you so much. Comment below, let me know if you've bought an advent calendar yet. Let me know which one you bought. If not, let me know which one you're gonna buy. And if not, let me know which chocolate one you're gonna get because hello, I'm excited for that as well. I will probably be getting a lint one and a dairy milk you can't go wrong but here we go Joe Malone Advent Calendar 2024 I will see you guys before the next video